No! 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 Please! No! 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 Train! You're killing my wallet with trains! No! 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 Hi, welcome to What's New with Yankee Dabbler. Halloween episode. Let's see what we got in store today. It's Halloween time here at Yankee Dabbler, and of course, some of us might like to represent that holiday with your own HO scale car. We got you covered with this fantasy Halloween limited edition car from Atlas. And as you can see here, it has the graffiti type of lettering with the headless horse, some of my favorite Halloween type uh, stories uh, depicted on this car here. I got the graveyard, I got the cat, I got the pumpkin. This is a really neat looking car. Again, I know a lot of people do realism, but if you want to do a little fantasy, celebrate the holiday, here you go. We got a nice Atlas car here. And I do like the way this is actually a really quality car. As you can see, it glides across the uh, rails there. It even says Atlas there. So you can, uh, you know, commemorate this limited edition car from Atlas. And of course, if you are an N scaler, well, I got an N scale version too. And it's the same as that car, same as that deco. It is really neat looking uh, materials that we have here. So, if you're interested in getting these cars, as I said, they're limited edition, we only have a couple. So if you're interested, the N scale car, which normally sells for $29.99, we're selling for $23.95. And the HL1, which usually sells for $39.99, is selling for $29.95. So come in, go trick-or-treating on your layout with a Halloween Atlas car today. I think you're really gonna like it. We got some more cars for you to take a look. Excuse me one second. Hello? You like scary movies? Not now, I'm doing one of these promo videos. Jeez, people. All right, so anyway, we got some more cars for us to take a look at, and we're gonna be going to Tank Car Land for these N-Scale Micro Train cars. As you can see, I have here the 59 foot, I'm sorry, the 56 foot tank car, cotton belt, and then I got a couple of 39 foot single dome tank cars here. Now, I think these are really cool looking cars. My favorite freight car has always been the tank cars. Don't ask me why. I just think they're really cool looking. As you can see here, like I got all the great details I expect from micro trains. I got this really cool looking lettering. I actually like the sugar car right here. If you could take a look at all the stuff that goes into that. I mean, this is just a really neat tank car. And if you are an end scaler and you want some freight cars to go along with it, I highly recommend these guys because I think these are really good cars to have on your layout. Now, the 39 foot tank cars that we have here sell for, let me get my sheet out. So the 39 foot are selling for 29, that's uh, $28.99. And the 30 and the 56 foot, get all my numbers confused. And the 56 foot tank car is selling for $29.95. Now again, these are great cars to have in your layout. I would get a bunch and say thanks for the memories because I think you're really gonna enjoy these. So come to Yankee Dabbler today. Or if you're lucky, you might find that guy that's giving out full size tank cars instead of candy bars this year. It could happen. Engineer Hall, maybe. Who knows? Check it out. Many people have been asking about these cars. Well, now I can finally say, they're here. We got these slab slide hopper cars from Atlas. And check out these puppies. I really like these. We got the Canadian National. We got another different Canadian National paint scheme. We got the THB. And finally, we got the CP round. I always like that little Pac-Man design there. I think there's a really cool look. Now, these cars have a little bit of weight to them. As you can see, I have metal wheels happening there. I got all the great detailing there. I got all the various different roof hatches and everything that you expect from a high-quality Atlas car. And these are really great cars. Ooh, look at that. Metal couplers. I love me some metal couplers. These are really cool looking cars here. And I think you're really going to enjoy them. And especially if you're a fan of any of the Canadian railways, railways, I think this is the way for you to go. Now, these hopper cars are retailing for 54 95 and truthfully at that price point the, with the detail and quality that these cars have it might be worth it But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for 3846 again 3846 this is a great deal to get on these cars I have a bunch of different road numbers So if you say like the Canadian national color, but you want to get a bunch of different uh, numbers to go with it We got you covered. We got them all on our website So check it us uh, check us out at yankeedabbler.com and I know you're not gonna be disappointed with these guys 
So I was trick-or-treating around uh, our store at Yankee Dabbler, and I got these in my bag. We have here the ACF Covered Hoppers, and boy, aren't these beautiful. As you can see, I have a bunch of different row names, as just like with any of these Atlas cars that we have here. What's really neat about these cars is, once we take a look at the roofs, we actually discover that every single one of them has a different roof hatch, depending on what the row name is. So for example, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different ones here. Whereas, say, this one over here, a little bit different design, all right? The honeymead's kind of the same way, and it, it, it's just the subtle details and variations. We're kind of past the age now where we just kind of make a, a, a template and we put everything on it. Now we have a whole bunch of different variations, a bunch of different things that we throw into these cars, and I really like them. As you can see there, once again, I do have die-cast metal wheels as well as metal couplers, and I always like me some metal couplers here. I always think that's good. These have a little bit of weight to them. I mean, truthfully, if you miss out on these cars, you're probably going to want to spin your head 360 degrees and vomit because you're not going to want to miss out on these cars. Now, these cars here retail for $72.95. Now, it might seem like a lot because, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff that goes with these cars, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $49.99. I have a bunch of different row names. I got a bunch of different numbers. Man, I'm sensing another rendition of Food or Hoppers coming up. Eh, we'll save it for next time. So, check these out at yankeedabbler.com. I know you're going to love them. It's the strangest thing. I got a VHS tape in my mail the other day, and it said if I play it, I'm going to die in seven days. So, instead of watching that, I just got one of these instead. These are the NCE Power Cabs, and I know a lot of people have been waiting for these to come back in stock. Well, we got them here. If this is the way that you run your DCC locomotives, this is the system that you want. We got it here at Yankee Dabbler. Now, a lot of people really enjoy the power cabs and the way that they operate, the way that they feel. They have a good setup uh, with them. You have the handheld device there. I think you're really going to like these, and especially if you're already an NCE guy or girl, you know what I'm talking about here. So, the power cabs that we have here are retailing let me get my cheat sheet out here because i can't remember numbers all right so the power cabs retail for 249.95 we're selling them here for 194.96 all right so this is a good deal to have on your uh, throttle here on your power, uh, power cab i think you really gotta like these to pull your railroad and uh yeah come in before they're all gone no work and no play make dj a dull boy so I got one of these Broadway Limited S3 Milwaukee Road steam locomotives and I have one of my favorite steam engines to check out. I love this engine. Uh, this is a spectacular looking piece. This is pretty much the quintessential pinnacle of steam when these engines came out here. Of course, this is a 484 Northern and this particular model is modeled after the 261 that you can still find today riding the rails on excursion trains. Now, as you can see, there's a tremendous amount of detailing, everything from the boiler plates to the little indications on the tender here, as you can see here. And then I even like the front here, as you can see, I got the coupler that comes down. I got the intricate detailing with the hand railings here. I got the Mars light. I got a bell that does rotate. I mean, this is just a really cool looking steam locomotive. Actually, if we take a look at the cab there, we can even see it is lit up there and I do have my engineer and fireman lighting, uh, working in there in the lit up cab. So this is just a tremendous looking piece here. I've always been a fan of um, the 261. I had this engine as the, what they call the as delivered scheme. But there's also a couple of different other variations, including different numbers. And also there is one that is painted like the Hiawatha, which has an orange, uh, red, and gray paint scheme. So we're going to take a listen to what the steam engine sounds like, and maybe we'll pull some hopper cars. So let's check her out. So let's take a listen to that whistle.
All aboard. Track one, train 261, the Triple Treat Express. So that's a great sounding and looking engine. And again, it's one of my personal favorites. I think if you are a fan of any steam engines or the Milwaukee Road, I think you're really going to enjoy having this guy. Now, as I mentioned, I have a bunch of different road numbers and I got a couple of different paint schemes. So you can go on our website to type in Milwaukee Road S3. You guys see all the variations that we have. Now, the uh, one that we just took a uh, look at right here, the As Delivered 261, that one retails for $599.99. And it, again, Steam engines go for a higher price. It's just all the parts and labor and, and all the things that go into making those engines look great. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $479.99. I think it's a good deal for a spectacular looking locomotive. And just as I said before, the best time to buy an engine is when you see it. Well, you just saw it. I would come get it before these things are no longer here. And, well, you're going to be upset that you missed out on them. It's time for a scary story, boys and girls. There once was a man who had an HO car in his hand and he thought about buying it, but he said, no, I'll get it next time. But there was never a next time for you see, when he went back, the car was sold out. Scary stuff. Speaking of spooky stuff, we have a wonderful opportunity for you guys to get some HO or N scale uh, cars, rolling stock, that you might have mess missed your first time around with our spooky freight car clearance. Check it out here. And oh boy, that's not good. Uh, okay. Well, let's take a look here. Anyway, we have here a whole bunch of different HO cars from Atlas that we are continuously adding onto our spooky freight car clearance. And if you go on our website, we have a tab that says spooky freight car clearance. And we have some of our older rolling stock that may not be on our website or the stuff that you guys have overlooked. So we got them now on our spooky uh, freight car clearance. And I not only have HL, but I also have N scale too. And if you take a look over here, I also have the N scale, oh no, vertical train stacking. No human being would stack trains like that. Anyway, but if you take a look over here, you're going to see the end scale cars that we have on our spooky freight car clearance. So again, this is just a great opportunity. If you missed out on some of these older cars that we have, you might be looking for something that isn't around anymore because you know how Atlas is. They make something and then they discontinue it and then they may never make it again. So we have a whole bunch of these cars. It's continuously being updated. Right now, I want to say we have around 300 different items that are on our freight car clearance, and that number's going up by the day. So if there's something that interests you, you want to get some of these older rolling stock pieces, which are high-quality Atlas items, check this out at yankeedabbler.com. I know you're really going to like them, and you're going to build a spooky freight car consist on your railroad. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for tuning in to our Yankee Dabbler Halloween episode. I hope you guys weren't too terrified, and hopefully you get some of these items to put on your layout. I know you're really going to enjoy them. This is my last announcement for the Fall Layout Extravaganza! Get a little carried away sometimes because I'm so excited to see what your layouts are going to look like. So once again, send your videos, send your pictures to engineerhallchannel at gmail.com and get yourself on our fall layout extravaganza. I know you're really going to enjoy it. As a matter of fact, some person actually has a, a layout that is smaller than T-Gage. It's so small you may not even see it. I could again be making this up. I don't know. You're just going to have to tune in. Make sure you get those videos in before. October 31st, Halloween. Otherwise, we can't get in the show. So, check it out. I'm very much looking forward to the fall layout of Shravaganza. So, everything that you see can be found on our website, yankeedabbler.com. 
And of course, if you aren't subscribed to Engineer Hall, I don't know what you're doing, click that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. We're hoping to get up to 3,000 subscribers by the end of the hour. So let's go, okay? Anywho, thank you very much. We're gonna conclude with this week's, uh, this week's rail fan video. We're gonna be going to the Cuyahoga Valley to take a look at the Nickel Plate Road 765 going down the tracks. Enjoy everyone, take care. And if you excuse me, I gotta get my Halloween costume. I'm going as a tank car this year. So if you see a tank car at your front door, you know it's me. And I like Twix bars, Snickers, Milky Ways, Hershey Crunch, uh, Butterfingers, Three Musketeers, Almond Joy, Mounds, uh, Twizzler, Swedish Fish, Starburst. I'm not done. Uh, uh, it, sometimes the, the cookies and cream one. Then we got, uh, oh yeah, then of course. Ring Pops, I like those Jolly Ranchers. Uh, the circus Peanuts, you can keep those, okay? But we also got, oh, oh boy. There, uh, you ever have that, that that Mike and Ike's? You know, sometimes they were getting rid of the Mike, but they were just doing Ike, but maybe it was Mike. I, you know, I don't know. This this Mike and Ike's is fine. Uh, okay, and then there was the, uh, remember Butterfinger BBs? Those were really good. And then, oh, 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 uh, what was that, 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 that Chunky bar? Not a lot of people know about Chunkies. There was a $100,000 bar. It's a hundred grand anymore. I don't forget. Then, of course, there's Payday. York Peppermint Patty, of course, that's a good one. Uh, and then, did I mention Miles of Almond Joy? They're okay. They're not my favorite, but they're all right. Oh, and then anything by Godiva is good stuff. You know, you've got Giardelli. Uh, you know, just any chocolate, really. You know, it would be really cool. Twizzlers in chocolate. Now, that's a treat.